Hello children. How are you all? I think you all enjoyed the part 1 and part 2 videos on arithmetic progression. Today, before starting lesson, you all listen a story and one of the greatest mathematicians of all time. Let us start listening the story. I am telling you about true story. It happened in a small village in Germany during 16th century. It is an old story about a child called Gas. When Gas was still at primary school, this happened. He was too intelligent. In the maths period, Gas used to answer any question the teacher asked. He was too excellent at maths, but he was good at other subjects. The teacher began to be irritated with the gas because he used to answer every sum very fast without thinking. So teacher wanted to engage him in the class by giving lengthy sums. One day in maths class, as usual, gas completed answering all the questions in the class and started asking doubts. So teacher decided to give him a tough problem. So he called gas. Gas, you are too clever. I will give you a question. Try to answer. Teacher thought this task would engage Gas for half an hour or more. So he gave the question. Gas, are you able to tell the total of numbers from 1 to 100? Teacher thought Gas will take more time to give the number. But within few seconds Gas answered as sir it is 5050 teacher was surprised he thought gas was guessing a number so he answered so quickly so he told gas that you are joking you said any number by luck didn't you gas replied to his teacher no sir i didn't then teacher asked gas how did you count it gas replied his teacher question sir I found a relation between the numbers, sir. Oh, explain me, Gas. So, Gas started explaining how he calculated from 1 to 100. We have 100 numbers, yes? If we start adding 1 to 100, we get 101. If we add 2 to 99, again we get 101. If we add 3 to 98, 101. 4 to 97, 101. So, if we go on adding like this, we will get 101 50 times. If we multiply 101 by 50, we get the answer. Instead of adding 101 50 times, we may multiply 101 by 50. And this method is applicable if you want find some of n natural numbers. Goss explained to his teacher that if we want to find the sum of n natural number, it may be from 1 to 100 or maybe to 1 to 200 or it may be 1 to 500. This principle holds good. If you want to find the sum of 1 to 500, add 1 to 500. That becomes 501. Half of 500 is 250. 250 times 501 gives the sum of 1 to 500. So, this was the formula given by Gauss to find the sum of n natural numbers. Do you know children? Who is that 8 year old boy? Yes, he is the great mathematician for all the time. John Carl Friedrich Gauss. He is sometimes referred as the prince of mathematician and the greatest mathematician since antiquity. He had a remarkable influence in many fields of mathematics and science and is ranked as one of history's most influential mathematicians. So now I think you all inspired with the story of this great mathematician. So you all read about him and his contribution to the field of mathematics and science. You just google his name you will get all the information or if you have book on great mathematician definitely you, you will find about gas now coming to our arithmetic progression let us visualize the formula given by gas here i am taking numbers from 
1 to 10 instead of 1 to 100. The method is same. Now I am representing the numbers 1 to 100 by the dots. Here 1 dot represents the number 1, 2 dot represents the number 2, 3 dots represents the number 3 and so on. 4 dots represents the number 4. Like this we have numbers up to 10. What I am doing? I am breaking these columns into 5, 5 columns and I am rearranging this 5 column on this 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 column such that 1 comes upon 10 2 comes upon 9 and 3 comes upon 8 and 4 comes upon 7 like this. You carefully observe I am breaking this I am breaking the 5 columns into 5, five columns rearranging it here 1 comes upon 10 2 comes upon 9 and 3 comes upon 8. Now we have 5 columns each having 11 dots. To find the sum of 1 to 10, if we find the area of this rectangle, this gives the sum of numbers from 1 to 10. How to find the area of rectangle? We know length into breadth. Here the length is 5 columns and the breadth is 11 rows. So 5 into 11 gives 55. 55 is the sum of numbers from 1 to 10. You may verify doing actual sum. So this how we calculate the sum of n natural number. This is the visualization of that children. So next let us generalize this. We have sum up to n natural numbers. Let us consider the natural number 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 etc. up to n. This n may be up to 50 or up to 100 or up to 1000 or up to 500. It goes on like that. We know that if 50 is the last number, behind 50 we have 1 less than to 50 that is 49. If n is 100, behind 100, we have 100 minus 1, 99. So, this is the general representation of natural numbers up to n. Since we have lost number, this is a finite sequence. And this is example for arithmetic progression we know because it is increasing by a definite number that is plus 1. Now, we are finding sum of natural numbers up to n. I will write the sum in reverse order like n first, n minus 1 and so on like that if I add up to 1 in a reverse manner I will get sum of natural numbers up to n. Now add these two equation what you are going to get Yes, Sn plus Sn, it is 2 times Sn. N plus 1, N plus 1. N minus 1 plus 2 also gives what? Minus 1 plus 2 is plus 1. It is N plus 1 only. Like this, if you had any two numbers, you are getting N plus 1 as answer. How many times we are getting? We are getting N times because we have numbers from 1 to n, n's we are getting n times. So, n plus 1, n times means n into n plus 1. 10, 5 times means 5 into 10. 12, 5 times means 12 into 5. 10, 8 times means 10 into 8. Like that, n plus 1, n times means n into n plus 1. LHS we have 2 times SN. In RHS we have N into N plus 1. But we need sum up to N terms only. For that we are going to divide both sides of the equation by 2. 2 to cancel we are left with SN on LHS side. In RHS side we have N into N plus 1 divided by 2. This is the general formula to find the sum 
of natural numbers up to n we can say this as the sum of any number of consecutive natural numbers starting with 1 is half of the product of last number and the next natural number now let us see the one more symbol related with this sum of natural number we use instead of sn we use sigma n this symbol is called as sigma means sum up and we write like this sigma n starting point here it is 1 the ending number or the last number here is 4 what is the sum of natural numbers from 1 to 4 it is 10 because 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 3 6 6 plus 4 10 i have taken simple example to make you to understand so how we read this one sigma n from 1 to 4 that means it says n goes from 1 to 4 here the value of n is 1 comma 2 comma 3 and 4 we use sigma notation to write the sum of natural numbers let us learn how to find the sum of even numbers up to n let us consider the sum of set of even numbers that is 2 comma 4 comma 6 etc up to n here we are finding the sum of this even number so sn sum of n even numbers sn equals 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus etc now taking out two common we are left with n plus 2 plus 3 plus etc up to n two times this one this is nothing but sum of natural number we have formula to find the sum of natural numbers that is n into n plus 1 by 2 now only we came to know yes now this two and this two cancels we are left with sn equals n into n plus 1 this is the generalized formula to find the sum of even numbers up to n yes the sum of even numbers of consecutive natural numbers starting with 2 is the product of last number and the next natural number we know the set of natural numbers is in arithmetic progression we can find the sum of finite arithmetic progression the sum of the terms of an arithmetic progression is called as arithmetic series what we have seen the two example 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 etc up to n is one example for arithmetic series and 2 plus 4 plus 6 etc up to n is also known as arithmetic series let us see some more examples 3 plus 7 plus 11 plus 15 etc up to 99 so this is also arithmetic series it is finite arithmetic series we can only find the sum of finite arithmetic progression hence i am giving example of all finite arithmetic progression if we know the last term then it is a finite arithmetic series yes so now let us find the sum of n terms of an ap if the ap is not in the form of natural number what is the formula to find the sum of n terms of ap we know the general form of ap the general form of ap is like this a comma a plus d comma a plus 2d etc up to a plus n minus 1 into d if we find the sum of these terms of the sequence then it is called as arithmetic series so here sn means sum of n terms of ap now i am going to write this sn one more time such that in a reverse order here the last term comes first a plus n minus 1 into d previous term to this is 1 times d less yes here we have to subtract d one time from this number to get this previous number if we subtract d from this we will get a plus n minus 2 into d and so on we we write in reverse order we have 
the first term a in the last now let us add these two equation as in the case of natural numbers sn plus sn it is twice sn we know a plus a plus n minus 1 into d gives a plus a 2a plus n minus 1 into d a plus n minus 2 into d a plus d gives a plus a 2a n minus 2 into d plus d 1d 1d cancels we are left with n minus 1 into d like this we have 2a plus n minus 1 into d how many times we have we have n times yes because we have taken the arithmetic progression as a a plus d a plus 2d up to n theta so n times adding a number is nothing but n times multiplying it n times 2a plus n minus 1 into d in this side we have 2 times sn but we need only some up to n terms for that I am cross multiplying these two to this side or dividing both the side of the equation by 2. We get Sn equals n divided by 2. If we divide on both the side here 2 2 cancels. Here we have n divided by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So this is the formula to find the n terms of an AP. Now let us see one more form of this formula that is sn equals n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. I am splitting this 2a plus n minus 1 into d. It is a plus a plus n minus 1 into d. When I split 2a it becomes a plus a. Now we know a plus n minus 1 into d is nothing but the nth term of the AP. And it is represented by a n or by n. Yes, in place of a plus n minus 1 into d, we can substitute a n. Now we have formula s n equals n by 2 into a plus a n. If we know the first term and if we know the last term, we can easily calculate the sum of n terms of an AP. Now, if there are n terms in an AP, then an equals l or the last, l is called as the last term. We can write this one like this also, sn equals n by 2 into a plus l. Children, now you know the formula to find the sum of n natural numbers. You also came to know how to find the sum of n even numbers. Now you also know the general formula to find the sum of a in terms of an AP when a and d is known, when a and last term is known. Let us solve few problems on these children. Here is a question. The sum of first 20 natural numbers is, here there are four options we have to find which one is correct. We know the formula to find the sum of natural number. It is n into n plus 1 by 2. That is the last term. Here the last term is 20. 20 into 20 plus 1 means 21 by 2. So 2 1s are 2 10s are. 10 into 21 that is 210 is the answer. Here A is the correct answer. Let us see one more question. The sum of first 20 even numbers is. If you see suddenly you will think that these two are one and the same. But here they are asking first 20 even numbers. We know Formula to find the sum of even numbers that is n into n plus 1 the last term and the next term after the last term the product of those two gives the sum of even numbers that is 20 into 20 plus 1 gives 420 therefore sum of first 20 even natural numbers is 420 here the answer for this question is 420 one more problem yes the sum is like this find the sum of first 24 terms of the ap 5 comma 8 comma 11 comma 14 already they are telling this is in ap the first term of the ap is 5 what is the common difference yes 8 minus 5 
second term minus first term gives the common difference or third time minus second term 11 minus 8 is also 3 hence d is 3 the number of terms in this ap is 24 we have to find s n sum up to n terms not the last term a n here we have to find sum up to n terms so we will write what is given now, the formula to find the sum up to n terms is Sn equals n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Substitute the values of n, a and d in the equation. n is 24 by 2, 2 into a is 5 plus 24 minus 1 into 3. After simplification, we are going to get it is 2 into 5 is 10 plus 24 minus 1 is 23 into 3. 24 by 2 equals 10 plus 69 because 23 3 is a 69 when 69 is added to 10 we have 79 when 24 is divided by 2 we have 12 12 into 79 is 948 therefore the sum of 24 terms of this ap is 948 let us solve one more problem yes find the sum 25 plus 28 plus 31 plus etc plus 100 here also we have to find Sn. So to find Sn we need N, A, D. Yes. Here A is 25. We know D 28 minus 25. Here also D is 3. Yes. N is A is known. D is known. We have to find Sn. To find Sn we need N. How to calculate N here? They have not given how many terms are there in this arithmetic progression. But we know the last term. So by using the formula for last term of an AP, AN equals A plus N minus 1 into D, we can calculate N. We know the value of last term is 100. So substituting the value of A and D, we have 100 equals 25 plus N minus 1 into 3. So transferring 25 to this side, we have 100 minus 25 that is 75. Here we are left with n minus 1 into 3. That if we cross multiply 3 to this side, we are left with n minus 1. So n minus 1 equals 75 by 3, which is equal to 25. But we need how many terms are there in the sequence. n minus 1 is transferred to this side. Now we have n equals 25 plus 1, that is 26. There are 26 terms in this series. This is not the final answer of this question. We have to find the sum of to n terms. That means we have to find the sum up to 26 terms of this AP. For that, we substitute the value of A, D and N in this equation. After simplification, we have 26 by 2. 2 into 25 is 50 plus 25 into 3. This is 26th term n minus 1 the value of d is 3 n 25 into 3 is 75 so 26 by 2 into 50 plus 75 after simplification to 13 so 13 into 50 plus 75 is 125 if we multiply both 13 and 125 we have 1625 so the sum of 26 terms of this ap is 1625 children in this video you listen to the story of great mathematician Gas. is you read about his life his education and his contribution to the field of mathematics and science and we also learn how to find the sum of natural numbers up to n how to find the sum of even natural numbers and how to find the sum of arithmetic progression. Let us solve few problems related to this concept. I am giving you practice work. This practice work is from Mathematics Part 1, Chapter 1, Arithmetic Progression. You please solve all the example problems from Example 11 to Example 16 on sum of n terms on arithmetic progression. And also do the three problems in exercise 1.3. Hope you will all practice and you all enjoyed this class. Thank you 
Stay home, stay safe, learn from where you are.